so the brain the brain is further divided into three main components that is your hind brain mid brain and fore brain all right mm -hmm. so so the hind brain is uh, when we are studying the brain uh, brain from the spinal cord what is the structure that lies above spinal cord that is your hind brain above hind brain this is your mid brain and all the topmost structure of the brain is your fore brain you can see it in the image there is fore brain beneath the fore brain there is mid brain and in the end there is hind brain and below the hind brain is your spinal cord all right so the mid brain is uh, kind of the center yes and the hind brain is the extension of the spinal cord no, no connection no, no. of the spinal cord yes, to yes, the yes. Uh, to the encephalon. Yes. So the hind brain has three main components. There is medulla oblongata, there is pons, and there is cerebellum. Mid brain. Is this from inferior to superior? This is from inferior to superior. We are studying from uh, there is spinal cord, and above spinal cord there is medulla oblongata, and above medulla oblongata there is pons. Beneath, uh, behind these structures is cerebellum. We are going to look at these separately. All right. Okay. Yes. And there is fore brain. Fore brain is again divided into two main components. There is diencephalon and telencephalon. We are going to look at these in the next slides. So there is a, a term that is used uh, in the neuroanatomy is brain stem. The pons, medulla oblongata, and mid brain are collectively known as brain stem. There could be MCQ or examiner can ask this question from you that what is the difference between hind brain and brain stem? The hind brain is a term that is used collectively for medulla oblongata, pons, and cerebellum, and the brain stem is a collective term that is used for medulla oblongata, pons, and mid brain. Mm -hmm. Do you have any confusion? Um, the Latin name for mid brain was also something with uh, medulla, right? Mesencephalon. Mesencephalon. Okay. Yes. So. First of all, four brain. Four brains. Other name is also prosencephalon. When we look at the embryological development of nervous system, these terminologies are quite often used. So that's why I have mentioned these terminology. So the four brain is collectively known as prosencephalon, and four four brain is divided into two main components. That is diencephalon and telencephalon. The diencephalon is the innermost structures. We have our four brain. There. You can look at the fore brain. The outermost structures are known as telencephalon, and the structures that are deeply embedded is termed as diencephalon. Mm -hmm. And the diencephalon consists of structures that are dorsal thalamus, hypothalamus, epithalamus, and subthalamus. These are the four main structures that make up the diencephalon. If there is uh, there is a question that what are the structures that are included in diencephalon, then these four structures are the answers. These are the dorsal thalamus, ventral thalamus, epithalamus, and subthalamus. All right. Yes. And the structure that is remaining, the other outermost structures of the fore brain that is remaining, makes up the telencephalon. You can see the red shaded area. That is your telencephalon. The telencephalon is also known as cerebrum. So the outer structure of the brain, your fore brain, is telencephalon, and the fore structure that is deeply embedded in the uh, 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 fore brain is your diencephalon the telencephalon is also known as cerebrum refers to the region of the brain that includes cerebral cortex and several subcortical structures including hippocampus and basal ganglia the uh, white structure in the center yes uh, the most superior right structure yes isn't it uh, the corpus callosum yes it is corpus uh, callosum uh, this is the sagittal section and if we uh, if the section is made right in the middle of the brain then we can see corpus callosum that is a uh, communication between two cerebral hemispheres and it's not part of the uh, diencephalon or telencephalon this is uh, basically uh, corpus callosum is white matter these are the fibers these are the communicating fibers like there are tracks uh, okay like okay. there are tracks in the spinal cord in the corpus callosum the communication between two cerebral hemisphere is carried out by this corpus callosum so like there are two hemispheres and we need a communication between them so there is corpus callosum that is communication between two hemispheres the information from right cerebral hemisphere to the left and from left to the right 
so it is like mm -hmm. a communicating fiber all right so we cannot say uh it belongs anywhere because it just has fibers from parts of the yes, these are the fibers or... these are the fibers and there are other fibers too there are uh, commissural fibers there are anterior fibers there are transverse fibers that are basically the uh, white matters that is uh, communicate uh, that is uh, uh, that have purpose of communication between the brain yeah all right we can yes. move forward then after four brain uh, coming down this is your midbrain the structure that lies between the forebrain and the hindbrain it is a narrow part of the brain that connects the forebrain to the hindbrain and the other name for midbrain is also mesencephalon and uh, it is shaded green so you can visualize it clearly and again it is a sagittal section of the brain we are looking from the side and uh, top of that is your forebrain and the green greenish area is your uh, midbrain and beneath the green area is your brain stem uh, sorry it is your hindbrain clear any confusion no all right so uh, that other images were from sagittal section that we are looking from the sides but if we cut the brain like this coronal section frontal or coronal section we cut the brain like this like this and you we see from right here then these structures appear uh, your uh, the upper structure that main structure is covering is your forebrain and we can visualize the thalamus beneath the thalamus is our midbrain that is also known as mesencephalon and beneath the midbrain is our hindbrain that is pons and medulla oblongata and beneath that that is removed uh, is your cerebellum let me know if you have any confusion regarding the section that we are viewing that it is either sagittal section or it is coronal section or it is transverse section um from the position wise yes. it is uh, very central yes right we have cut the brain like this in the coronal section and we are looking from this side okay all right so the last part of the brain is your hindbrain and hindbrain is composed of three main structures that is pons medulla oblongata and cerebellum the cerebellum is a structure that lies behind the pons and the medulla uh, again we are looking at the sagittal section there is cerebellum behind pons and medulla the structure above spinal cord is your pons that is uh, shown with a uh, yellow circle and above it is your pons and behind this structure is cerebellum it is clear yeah the bone is situated on the anterior surface of the cerebellum it is inferior to the midbrain and it is superior to the medulla oblongata all right yes medulla oblongata it is the other name for medulla oblongata is mesencephalon and it is conical in shape and it connects the bone superiorly to the spinal cord inferiorly so it is the structure that is lying between the pons and the spinal cord that is the uh, you can say that is the last structure of the brain that is terminating in the foramen magnum the foramen magnum uh, we, we, lo we looked at the image and behind the foramen magnum is your spinal cord so the last structure of the brain that is lying above foramen magnum is your medulla oblongata clear clear then there is the last structure the cerebellum the cerebellum is lying posterior to the pons and the medulla it, it lies within the posterior cranial fossa of the skull and it is posterior to the pons and medulla oblongata and the name that is collectively used for cerebellum and the pons is mesencephalon all right um why do we differentiate into the uh, hindbrain and the mesencephalon uh, this is the any... uh, terminology that are used in the textbooks that uh, uh, it is based on the basically the embryologic development of nervous system so when we study the embryologic development of nervous system these terminologies are used the prosencephalon for forebrain the mesencephalon for midbrain mesencephalon for pons and cerebellum and mesencephalon for uh, for mm -hmm. medulla oblongata uh because they derive from the same part yes maybe uh, i'm not sure about the reason but these are the names that are widely used and uh, this could be asked that but uh, what are the structures that are included in mesencephalon or maybe they can ask what are the structures that are included in diencephalon and so forth okay so this is your total hindbrain 
you can visualize spawns, medulla oblongata, and uh, beneath, uh, beneath, uh, behind these structures is the cerebellum, and uh, behind beneath medulla oblongata is your spinal cord. And uh, I have told you about the brainstem. Uh, there are the three structures. If we uh, talk about spawn, midbrain, spawns, and medulla, then the, these structures are known as brainstem. Yes. So when we talk about spawns, medulla, and cerebellum, so we say this is hindbrain. When we talk about midbrain, spawns, and medulla, then we call it brainstem. All right. Clear. Yeah. Okay. 